Saturday morning, the city of Troy kicked off Homecoming Day festivities with a parade. Multiple organizations from Troy University, the city of Troy, and the surrounding areas were represented. And according to one Troy University alumna, the hard work being put into the parade by the city was very clear. It's, it gives you a lot of pride in, in where you came from and, and how it's still growing and, and everybody's uh, um, attitude about it. So it's, it's really cool to see. Just seeing everybody, people that I hadn't seen in a while, and um, just the excitement, the atmosphere of it. With highlights that included dancing in the streets, horseback riding, and old vehicles riding down the street. Troy Chancellor Dr. Jack Hawkins Jr. says that the homecoming parade is always a highlight of homecoming week. I thought it was a great parade. Uh, this is the 63rd consecutive year that uh, the city of Troy has sponsored the parade and it's uh, really reflective of the great partnership that the city and the university share. So it's always fun. There's nothing like a small town parade. And I certainly appreciated the fact that we didn't have rain and that was a thread early. This year's theme for homecoming was falling for Troy. And according to Chancellor Hawkins, it's more than just a catchphrase. Troy is a special university, special place. And I think, uh, I think it reflects the fact that all of us who are involved in this university really are falling for Troy. I don't think it's a, I don't think there's a beginning point necessarily and an ending point that's so clearly defined, but I think that uh, once you become part of this Troy University family, uh, then it's an ongoing experience and, and uh, you continually fall for Troy. I know I certainly have over the 29 football seasons I've been part of this. The Troy Trojan football team went on to defeat the Georgia Southern Eagles later in the day during the homecoming game. Seth Hawk, Troy, Trojan Vision News.